This week, the BBC and The Guardian have finally discovered why Switzerland is the best place to hide money. Apparently that's what the holes in the cheese is for. Up until the late noughties, HSBC, Britain's biggest bank, knowingly helped its clients break the law and actually marketed tax evading services to its wealthiest customers. Now, the problem with secret money is that in order to keep it secret, you actually have to deal in cold hard cash in Switzerland. And that means going in person to Geneva. And no one actually really wants to do that. It's, uh, it's kind of boring, that place. It's, it's the Canberra of the North. HSBC assisted one British client who collected £70,000 in cash a year and insisted that it all be in discreet, low denominations. Now, clearly this person had a high-end stripper addiction and instead of making it rain, just wanted to make it poor. One cluey HSBC manager in Paris offered wealthy clients untraceable cash by first putting it through the bank accounts of France's biggest drug lords. Uh, je suis methamphetamine? In 2010, a US client was given bricks of $100,000 each, which he then split up into fistfuls of cash and then mailed back to himself in the US. It's such hard work to avoid all this tax. I don't know what's worse, paying tax or going to the post office. I think I just paid the tax. But probably my favorite tax dodging service from HSBC is the code name. If you're famous or rich enough, they'll create one for you for free. Like the former chairman of the ANZ Bank, Charles Good. HSBC suggested that Mr. Good was a little too conspicuous. So they gave him the code name. Please be deep throat. Please be deep throat. Of Mr. Shaw. More like Mr. Offshore to me. <laughs> I don't know about you, but if I'm holding hundreds and thousands of dollars of, of tax-free money in a Swiss bank account, at least I would have gone from Mr. Good to Mr. Bad. I mean, at the very most, I would have demanded HSBC call me Mr. McDuck. This is not the first time that HSBC has been in the news for helping out the bad guys. In 2012, the bank was forced to pay $2 billion in fines in the US for helping drug cartels in Colombia and Mexico shift their money around the world. So big were the cash transactions of the cartels that the bank teller windows in Mexico and Russia had to be enlarged to fit the cash boxes over the counter. Wow. HSBC, you play a bold game. France, Belgium, Argentina, the US, they've all started to prosecute people involved in these schemes. But in the home country of HSBC, Great Britain, only one person has been prosecuted. One person out of thousands of accounts. You know, maybe we should give that UK government a bit of a break, eh? After all, it did happen in Switzerland. They weren't meant to know what was happening at HSBC. Excuse me. Hello? What? Oh, the former chief executive and chairman of HSBC, Lord Stephen Green, was appointed a peer in the House of Lords, then made Minister for Trade and Investment in the Cameron government? Oh, but that's ridiculous. I mean, surely he'd know heaps of people to prosecute. I'm sure many of those people are his friends. Oh. You know what? Making Lord Stephen Green the Minister of Investment is like making Michael Jackson the manager of a daycare centre. We wanted to ask why his bank helped the wealthy evade tax. He wrote to us and said, As a matter of principle, I will not comment on the business of HSBC, past or present. Yes, yeah, Stephen Green is very principled. His number one principle? Not going to jail. But that didn't stop BBC's Panorama from trying to ask him the tough questions. You know when you were in charge at HSBC? Oh, no comment to make. HSBC, your, your bankers were helping people dodge tax. Why did you let them do that? As I think I've explained, uh, I'm not prepared to make any comments on HSBC's business past or present. Oh, come on, BBC. Give the man a break. Can't you see he's so poor he has to walk home from work? He can't afford a car. Or maybe it's just a case of taxi avoidance. To afford a car, what he should have done is take up one of HSBC's tax avoidance schemes. Life is all about perspective. You see a tropical holiday. We see a business meeting. You see your grandmother. We see your inheritance. You see a kilo of coke. We see a liquid asset. You see a tax bill. We don't see anything. You see a jail. We see record profit. What do you see with HSBC?